what else is going on out there? I'm trying to think of what I've been seeing. I don't seeing, even know, dude. dude. I haven't been. Well, they there. have this beer, the beer, all this, a lot of stuff with trans activism, you know? Shout out to them. Yeah. And it's got to be, uh, but what is it? What is being trans? Yeah. I mean, I know it's like, is it, I know it's men or women who want to be the other, right? Uh, yeah. Or they feel stuck inside of the, they feel wrong fully convicted yeah exactly i think that's a good way to put it convicted in the wrong body right it's that that's what it seems like to me anyway although some people just want to go i'm neither i'm non-binary you know i'm throwing on some overalls i'm just hanging out i'm getting a ha honestly a haircut a lot like yours that's oh, pretty, yeah, so many a lot of nine hit me up. yeah yeah but i think mullet is a pretty nice non-binary look yeah do you think, what do you think? Because there's a lot of companies now that are advertising stuff, right? Uh -huh. I mean, this is hilarious. Kid Rock. Just fucking chill out, Kid Rock. <laughs> I mean, Kid Rock's you're, just, you're but he's also Bud Kid Light. Rock. I know. Fuck you know, Bud Light I, and fuck Anheuser-Busch. <laughs> Have a terrific day. Well, you really showed them buying their shit <laughs> and shooting it with guns and then basically giving them a, giving them an advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> Like, everyone who likes trans people is going to be like, damn, Kid Rock's dumb. I'm going to get some Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> also, what? I didn't know this, but Kid Rock apparently grew up rich. He uh, That's kind of wild. Grew up at least middle class, yeah. Yeah. His yeah. family had a car dealership, I think. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. I think I think what the thing about it, I think, is that he's the place that he's coming from is... Do... Travis are they trying... Like... What is, I just wonder, what is the biz, what is, is there a business goal of it? Does it so. seem, that's what I'm just curious about it. Because it, it seems like an interesting move. Yeah, 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 yeah. I See, that's the thing. That's what I think has kind of been blown kind of crazily out of proportion is like trans people that I know, they just want to be trans. Right. They don't, they just want to like not be like kill. Like, because that's the thing, as a, if you're like going M to like, M to F, if you were like born a man, you, you transition to female, it's like, that's like a, a lot of them like become sex workers. A lot of them like get like violence against them. Yeah. Guys who feel like they've been either tricked or like whatever. And it's like, scary. it's like a pretty scary thing to, you know, it's a pretty like tough lifestyle. And they're just like, hey, I just want like not to be killed and to be like basically respected and to be able to go to like the doctor. And I just don't. It's such a low percentage of people too. That's what, it's crazy to me that we're having this discussion. That's the part to me is interesting. Like, it's such cares? a small per and I wonder are you helping trans people buy like Bud Light like is this the move to help cuz I, I I totally understand what you're saying. Like imagine if you are if you feel that way, yeah. right? Imagine yeah. if you really feel it, right? Yeah. Now I think there's a big there could be a difference between people who really feel it and also now if they're commercializing it or if they're sensationalizing it so much sure. that a mind that isn't sure now yeah. adapts to it to like have a cause because people will uh, can, can grasp onto a lot of causes right for sure and i think like i think like with any kind of thing that gets a lot of publicity you will have people that are like just unsure will like reach on to it and you will have here's the thing with anything that gets any traction you'll get people doing it cynically to get famous right right but the way that there's like it's like a one percentage of people are trans point zero zero one of them are like these weird people doing it for attention right you know so it's like that's what it's crazy about these discussions is like for the most part what we're talking about is like let people have jobs <laughs> you know like just let them have basic and the way I look at it, right, it was like, just let them go about their lives without facing discrimination. And, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. What do you care if somebody, like, was born a guy, wants to chop their dick off and be a girl? Yeah. Why does that bother you? And I do find it a little ironic where it's, like, especially people that are talking about, like, you know, like, not to get super political with it, but it's, like, the states that are very anti the trans shit. It's, like, you have people talking about how they want limited government. Mm -hmm. But then they're like, oh, I have to check your daughter's to see if your daughter has a vagina before. Like Florida was talking about a bill where they're tracking girls' periods to prove their, their to prove their biological female. And it's like, like a wait, whoop bracelet or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. A whoop strap. Florida, yeah. Oh. Ron DeSantis wanted one around like teen around girls' waist, pussies. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In 
inside of them. Damn. And it's like, aren't you supposed to be the one for like limited government, but we're checking girls, period? It's just like, or they made it like illegal to mention a period. It's like, dude, it's fucking crazy. And I'm just like, I don't get like I have some. Yeah, trans I, don't I don't understand why it's a like if someone's trans, let them be trans. Yeah. I like I would never be upset at anybody that's trans or ju like I would be very curious what it's really like. For sure, I would be it's very curious yeah. in today's world what if someone is like just gay and they see an option to be for a clout yeah. or just totally uh, straight and sees it because there's such a me. It's such a like yeah like you know, a currency out there now that I could see that being some, but I don't say that to diminish if, cause those people are also diminishing if people are really dealing with that. Like, For sure. I don't know, I guess, I guess I just wonder, is this the best person to introduce that to the world? Like, cause a lot of people now are just starting to talk about trans, which maybe is good, but it's also such a small percentage of people. I guess I just don't understand well, is I, this going to be helpful to trans people? Because it almost, like, if I'm a trans person, right, and my yeah. life is tough, right? Yeah. If I really am, if I, because I believe that, you know, I mean, you make, God makes so many cookies, man. You could. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Something, you, could, you or nature little... could be also merging. You don't know. Yeah. And I also think in, like, other societies, like ancient ones, people were kind of, like, in between genders and other societies had, like, mul multiple genders. Yeah, look at Robin people. Hood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those guys were in tights. Come on. You tell me. You know somebody dress, no. Somebody threw on Maid Marian's dress. Big John you was know? a bear, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's this big backlash against trans people because I think it's become a conservative boogeyman where they're talking about, like, you know, drag queens, and they're talking about how drag queens are going to, like, groom your... Tr like, they're calling gay people groomers and shit, and I think that's really dangerous, and I think that attention has come because trans people are being used as a political tool mm. in the negative, whereas, like, I mean, dude... It's so funny to hear people talk about how drag queens are like, you know, oh, they're so dangerous for kids, where it's like, drag queen, like, you think they molest people? Like, politicians and priests are up two million kids to zero on yeah. molested drag queens. It's like- At least two million, you know, maybe a thousand. Maybe like something. a thousand, yeah, yeah. Maybe there's one, yeah, there's one of them who was whatever. But it's like, still, drag queens are gonna start having to do like flea flickers and like yeah. trick plays to get back in the game yeah. compared to priests <laughs> compared to fucking compared to politics. They're the ones fucking kids. And well, it's like, it's just become this political ploy, you know? But yeah. It's like, yeah. That, it, I mean, look, that's a, that's a really great point, man. I think what I hear a lot of times is that people are scared of, especially on the backs of like the vaccine and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People are scared that, well, is this some, another reach Mm -hmm. Where they're trying to, where the media will then use like a lot of like film, television exposure about gender uncertainty, mm -hmm. and then to start to get you young people to want to take like a gender blocker, right, yeah, or some type yeah, of a yeah. medicine, right? Sure, sure, and I don't sure. know enough about the medicine, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think as when I look at even how influenced I was, I, I mean, I watched WWE wrestling, yeah, bro. Yeah, If The Rock cut his dick off, you'd be thinking about it. Dude, if somebody <laughs> yeah. threw my grandmother against the, if somebody <laughs> just threw my grandmother against the ropes, yeah. I would have kicked that bitch's head off. Okay. <laughs> That's how influenced I was by WWE, yeah, yeah, bro. Sure, you know sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Going, it was over, bro. Yeah, yeah. No amount of calcium pills <laughs> yeah. was going to bring her back. <laughs> Yeah. So I think that's a lot of people's fear. It's like, man, there's so much influence over my children that if they start to use this chip, are they then just going to come in with another medicine on the back of COVID where yeah, a yeah, lot of yeah. people are skeptical about the vaccine now? Sure. And rightfully so. Yeah. So I think that's probably a lot of, I think that's a lot of the fear. Yeah, but I, but I, I think the, the, the molestation part, you're right. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you can't molest my kids. I'll let them, you know, it's only going to be done by my own. Yeah, by my by my preacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a guy with lipstick. Which, again, it's not, like, I do think, I just don't think, I just don't, I'm not convinced that the numbers are that big where it's like, all of a sudden, all these kids are transitioning because they think it's cool. I think it's so hard to do that. Like, people would say that about, like, uh, in, like, sports, right? Or like Leah Tom, they were talking about that swimmer, yeah, who like was trans and then was like a much better swimmer as a woman than than she was as a man. The idea that you would cut your dick off to win fucking college swimming, 
you really want to you really want that bronze medal in college swimming that bad that you're going to chop your nuts off? It's like I don't know. That's like and then have people like you'd swim faster without you'd, nuts. Yeah, <laughs> nuts might be weighing you down. For sure, you're a but, seal. But it's just like I guess I'm not convinced that like I think a lot of this shit is just fear mongering for no reason. Yeah, and especially when you see the statistics. Like I saw some poll. I don't know. I don't know if like we can find it, but it was like there's like a poll of shit of like the percentage people thought. We're like, trans? A bunch of things, not just trans, but like a ton of stuff. Like right. how many people are Muslim in America? How many people are like, get whatever. And everyone overestimated everything. And that like, tra- I think, I literally think tra- like a percentage of trans people in America is like like 1%. I think we looked up the other day, it was 1.7 million. About 5% of young adults in the US say their gender is different from their sex. Number. See, now this but article sounds different. so delusional to me, right? Yeah, yeah. 5% of youth, it could be, now that could be, they asked 100 youths in Brooklyn, yeah, outside, you know, but that, I, that's the thing about articles, you just don't know, but that kind of percentage, yeah, you see that, it yeah. could definitely make people think what's going on, and then you get, yeah, you, yeah. you get scared. And well, the I news also is think, so scary, man. I also think there's a difference between, like, fully transitioning and being like, hey, I do think there's a lot of kids who are like, hey, maybe I'm non-binary, maybe yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to change anything medically, but, like, maybe I'm going to start, instead of being called Eric, my name is now Sock. Yeah. And I'm half a guy. Half, you know what I mean? Like, like it is, there is like, there is some change in that. I think definitely, I, I think I have more like young friends who are like maybe in, open to experimenting with gender in that they think, you know, the way young, every generation has different radical ideas to older people. And I think that's another thing I try and think about is like, you don't want to be the old guy who's like, well, that's not right. That's not how I had it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the part of me is like, I defer to young people sometimes a little bit where it's like, and some of this is like, people are going to find themselves and they're going to like settle down. And it's like, whatever they might, those percentages might like drop or whatever. But it's just like, I think this shit is kind of like fluid and like always changing, but ultimately I don't think it's dangerous. Like, that's the thing. It's like, who gives a fuck if somebody wants to change their, name or like be perceived as something else i don't understand why you fucking care yeah you oh know? i don't i don't think that, i feel like Not a lot you, of people probably don't I mean. yeah. yeah yeah but i think if it came to a point where then a kid could go get say if i'm 14 right yeah sure, and sure. i don't know how i'm feeling right yeah maybe i'm gay maybe i'm straight maybe i women just don't like me bro yeah. i mean there was times when i was oh, younger yeah. when i thought that women didn't like me enough that i thought maybe i'm supposed to like men dude me too because I was like, I was like, maybe I'll just. I was be like, there gay. must be something wrong with <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. maybe, and in my head, somehow I'm messed. Up. Yeah. I'm not messed up, but I am. I'm just not seeing things clearly. Yeah, you know, yeah, and uh, for sure. No, I'm with you there. So, say if you're going through that, and then you decide to, that's where it's like, I just don't like it when there's possibility for the drugs to get involved. That's the part for me that's like, man, I don't know, because I got on antidepressants at a young age, and I can't get off of them. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, so for sure. I don't know. It's it's definitely interesting, and I think look, we've had some good thoughts about it, yeah. you know, and some good like discussion about it. Um, and I will say, just from a like, I've hooked up with some people who are they them non-binary. I've gotten some excellent they them pussy. Damn, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow, bro. No joke. I, the best head I've gotten is a tie between two they them wow. people. It was awesome. Damn. Yeah, it w- probably traditionally appear, you know. They, they, if you saw them, you'd probably oh, go, yeah, that's that leap a girl. Year. <laughs> you know what I mean? But still, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So shout out to, you know, they, them pussy is very powerful and it's out there. The Lord's leap year, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. it, baby. Exactly, exactly. And look, a lot of like Asian people, I think, are, have a, are, 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 uh, are against this sort of thing. They're very mm-hmm. like gender. Yeah. You know? You samurai or ninja. Yeah. You it's have like to they're even one. starting to name their kids, I think, like. Him, him was one of the. It's like nobody's confusing my son. I just feel like it's such a sensitive topic mm-hmm. for whoever's really going through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't know if it's the right thing for a company to come along. I don't know. See, you, you I, know what I'm saying? I do there? know what you're saying. Like, or what I'm, I'm questioning. I just, I don't know. I it's underst- hard to feel that out. I understand the question. I think like. Pos- I think anything that kind of normalizes a struggle that somebody's going through is fine. You know, it's like, okay, like I see what you're saying where it's like it brings attention to it. And the negative attention to me is a problem, but it's like it's on the people who are negative about it. Like, you know, I'm obviously very like I just don't 
I think the real problems are the legislative is the legislative stuff that's happening against trans people personally. Yeah. Where it's like it's making their lives difficult. It's making some people not be able to get like medical care. It's you know. It's, well, insurance will make find any reason not to give you anything. <laughs> well, that's the other thing is like yeah, well, there, it's that's unbelievable. that's another problem with our country where it's like so many of our biggest problems come down to we don't have our basics covered in the richest country in the history of the world, which is so fucked up. Like, no one should be fucking... Well, it's not profitable. It's not, you know... Yeah. It comes down no. to a bottom line. You start to feel like a, you know, you start to feel like a pawn, I think. that's. A, I think that's another thing. It's such a time where everything that the media does feels like someone is being pawned mm -hmm. that I think that just... the, the Everything these days, I feel like, kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah. You know? I, I'm with you, too. I am a little... I'm like, what's the shell game here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little pessimistic about the course we're on in general, just because of like, you know, global warming shit, but also like inequality in America is so crazy where it's like, yeah, dude. And I think a lot of the anger that you see in general, like even like even for some people, trans has become like a boogeyman. Mm -hmm. And it's like they're angry because, yeah, their family member has fucking cancer. Insurance doesn't cover it. Their job has been, you know, their job is gone. There's no fucking, you know, a train gets derailed. No one's fucking cleaning it up. Now they have fucking poison in their in their water. And it's like. These are all things that could be covered with, like, if we held our government accountable and they just, like, we had to, they had to provide basic needs for people. Yeah. But everything has gone kind of to shit. And it's like, it's easy to start disagreeing about the stuff that does not matter when you're just so angry because you feel like you're getting screwed because we are getting screwed, but we're getting screwed by, in my opinion, big corporations, by everyone who's just like gobbling up all the money and making sure that it's like, know. you know, way, you know, wages having kept place. With inflation, you know, minimum wage, if it was like what it was in the 70s, now it should be like, you know, like 40 bucks an hour or something. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's the root of all like our disagreements and all our all the anger here. And I think. Oh, yeah. When people don't feel like they're not belonged to. Yeah. Like they're taken care of. It or used to feel like hard. you also. Well, at the same time that you're kicking down the traditions of the country. Yeah. You know, and at the same time that you're taking you're taking away like. Or you're making it harder, I think. I don't know. It's a lot. It's, There's yeah. a lot of stuff. I'm not trying to not talk, think about it. It's just a lot. I don't know anybody that is trans. And a lot of my friends don't, you yeah. know? And I'm even LA, in L.A. five months out yeah, of the yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I have some friends. Oh, wait. Yeah. We have one. We had a guest, Robin. Tr Robin Tran. Robin Tran. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. And that is. A little on the nose. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But Robin Tran is a comedian, and yeah. I don't know. She didn't have the surgery at that time. Okay. Um, uh, and then Joe Dosh was a, a male comedian, and he has. Um, I don't know Robin personally. Yeah, J O E D O, D -O S C H. Fifi now is his name, nice. and he got a transition. Um, okay. I believe I don't want to talk out of pocket. Yeah, He's yeah. Joe's. Joe's one of the most is one of the uh, smartest and uh, just really. Mo it was really a captivating. Yeah. Um, I don't know him as much as a woman, and I don't think it's. I don't know if there's a difference between knowing someone when they are a man or a woman. Because, dude, that's a journey to For go sure. on. Well, that's like, the thing. I remember I, when yeah. we, the first time we went to Florida when I was a kid, and I was like, "This is gonna be crazy." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But imagine yeah. every cell in your body being like, <laughs> "Yeah, you what's, know what I'm saying? What's going we're on? going to San Fran." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to San Francisco, yeah. brother. Or we're going to like, yeah, Brooklyn. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think there's probably some. You probably just feel more. I would just guess you'd feel more comfortable. Yeah. You'd probably feel like more yourself. You know. I can't speak. To, I can't speak to being trans, whatever. But, um, you know, I'm sure you're just like maybe even more pleasant to be around because it's like anything. Imagine like hiding something and then being. And also, it's like a hard thing. Like a lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people are can be like probably in your fam. Like coming out as gay is hard enough. Imagine being like, nah, I'm to you to like somebody who would have a problem with being gay. It's like coming out as five times gay you yeah. know what i mean like going yeah, yeah. i'm a You're girl like this, yeah i'm so gay i'm a girl <laughs> like that's what a, that's wow. what like a you know like a like i'm chasing my own tail yeah like you're like you're like the ultimate warrior of gay <laughs> <laughs> like bring up when the ultimate warrior came in the ring <laughs> there was nothing like that brother no, dude it was electric yeah there was yeah when that happened that changed the scene 
Hope you enjoyed that video, and you can watch another. And you can watch this one, you can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.